Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this, we are continuing VB script. In this session, we are going to see arithmetic operations, basically dealing with numbers. I have defined a variable a equal to 20, b equal to 6. Then, I have done the simple addition. This is a plus b. As usual, the plus is the addition symbol. I am printing that a plus b is equal to, then if you see here in the message, I am using ampersand symbol. If I want to print something on the same line, rather than this comma c, you do this and then give ampersand sign. This is like a concatenation operator, so that the whole text will be printed on the same line. Now I have got a minus b subtraction, a star b which is multiplication, a divided b which is the division. To get this modulus, this is uh, get modulus which is nothing but remainder. So a divided b and then usually this a divided b will give you the quotient. Whereas the a mod b will give you the remainder. This is the modulus operator. Now let me execute a equal to 20, b equal to 6. Let us execute this VBS2. Now if you see here, a plus b is 20 plus 6, 26. 20 minus 6 is 14. Then 20 star 6 is 120. 20 divided by 6 is 3.333. Then 20 modulus 6 is 2 because 3, 6 are 18 and then the remainder is 2. So this is the basic VB script addition, multiplication, etc. There is no, especially in VB script, no plus plus or minus minus operators in VBS, unlike C. Also in C, you can say x equal to x plus 5, or this can be written as x plus equal to 5. Again, this is not in VBS. So you don't have this plus plus increment, pre-increment, post-increment, pre-decrement, post-decrement operators. At the same time, this notation of plus equal to, minus equal to, this is not there in VBS. So at least a few less things to worry about. This is a basic arithmetic operations. We also do have some of the built-in trigonometric functions, etc. Let us see those things now. If you see here in this script, there are some trigonometric functions like sine, cos, tan. You can use this. I have given just only one example, sine. So I have defined a equal to 15, sine of a. Then there is exp. This is uh, e to the power a. So you can have e is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial. So it's a, it's a series. So the mathematical e. Then log, log to the base e is there, log to the base 10 is there. There are a lot of mathematical functions available. I have given only a few as an example. But the way you have to use it, that function within bracket that number. So the moment you give this, that value will get assigned to this. Then this is sqr is the square root. So the square root of 15, it will calculate. Let us execute this program. VBS4. Now the sine of 15 is this, e to the base 15, e to the power 15, then log of 15, then square root of 15 is this. So this VB script has got, if you see this one, this is almost like the math.h functions of C language. So this is very easy to use. But unless you are using a scientific applications, these may not be useful, but uh, it's better to learn this from the academic purpose. I have not used a sign or log for a very long time, but this is the basic syntax. Any mathematical function within bracket that number as a variable, then assign that to another variable, you can use that. So this is basic arithmetic operations. You can use the standard plus, minus, etc. At the same time, you can use the mathematical functions also in VB, or VB script. Thank you.